Sabathun's throne world is a place of mystery and wonder for sure. A statue of Oryx slaying a worm god, pyramids, hive using the light, and a lot more information that'll pique your interest later in this video. Let's first roll the trailer and then get into some analysis and some stills. Guardian? Guardian, do you read me? We're here, Ikora. What is this place? We are in the domain of the God of Cunning. Things are never what they seem. Be careful. Tell me, O oh honored guest. This throne world is indistinguishable from my own mind, Guardian. Every step taken, every bullet fired, I keep and count them all. It's not too late to turn around. Throne worlds are always fun to talk about. Back in the Taken King, we would fight Oryx in his own Ascended Realm, which he tore open and placed in his Dreadnought, and he built that Dreadnought using what he slayed from Akka the Worm God, which we'll see a little image of that in a little bit. Savathun has to be quite different though, with all the deception, the trickery she's pulled over the years, this place is bound to have many secrets around every corner, traps, and possible truths to be revealed. As the trailer opens up, we see a shot of the mysterious pyramid ship inside of her throne world. Guardians are then exploring the area and it looks like one of them are approaching with their ghost to possibly scan one of these anomalies or walk through it. Now most of the dreadnought looked kind of the same, that hive aesthetic like you're in this hive dungeon and it's just one ship. But Sabathun's throne world feels much different with many different aesthetics, many different locations we'll be going to like swampy areas, inside hive cathedrals and things like that. And you can see a variety of those locations from these images throughout the trailer. Now something to keep an eye on is this image right here. We see it multiple times throughout the trailer and it looks to be some sort of eye. Perhaps this is a portal to travel to other locations as we see Sabathun use it later on in the video. As our guardians land in, in this new destination, you can take a look at their sick armor and some of the new weapons they're holding including the new glaive. Here are some shots of Hive statues. This one loses its arm as the character pans, so I'm not sure if that's a culling issue or if that's supposed to happen, maybe some secret quest. But here is that screenshot we were talking about of Oryx slaying the worm god Akka. So long ago, Oryx, which was the name of Oryx before he became the Taken King, would seek more power to feed his worm. So Oryx went to the Ascendant Realm to speak to the Worm God Akka, and Akka said, yeah, you gotta really earn this power, so Oryx killed him. This was when Oryx spoke to the Deep, or what we believe is the Darkness itself, and became Oryx the Taken King, gaining that power to take, something that was different compared to his sisters. Thanks to Season of the Lost, we hear about the Voice in the Darkness, which was the true owner of this Taken power, and hopefully we'll learn more about that in the Witch Queen expansion. It is the entity that commands them all. The voice in the darkness. These creatures are not evil because they wield darkness. 
They are evil because, like Sathun and Zeevo of Wrath, they are cruel, hateful things with no regard for the lives of others. Here are some more shots of different environments in Savathun's throne world. Now this one in particular is quite mysterious. Maybe this takes place inside the pyramid ship given the architecture seen at the top. But we do clearly have a pyramid-like structure in the center, and these outer columns kind of remind me of like, like the outside of a satellite would have or something like that. But if this is inside the pyramid ship, it's nice to have some variety again because last time we were in here is just a gray texture everywhere, so it'll be nice to change it up a bit. Throughout the trailer, we also have some text displaying, like this one, which would say, expose her lies. Throughout all of the Witch Queen trailers, we've had weird symbols and numbers, most of them referencing chemical elements in the past, and this one right here specifically represents osmium. Now, these elements might have different meanings in and of themselves, but osmium specifically is important given the backstory of the Hive. The Osmium Court was ruled by the Osmium King, which was Savathun, Zivu Arath, and Oryx's father. So that's a pretty cool little easter egg or perhaps secret we can dive into later. Just like the Dreadnought, this place is going to be littered with many secrets. Right here we see platforms forming, like the secret areas we're able to find on the Dreadnought with Ascendant Sight or whatever it was, perhaps that was Forsaken. But you get the idea, different paths to take us to different areas and secrets to uncover. Let's now take a look at those pesky hive using our Guardian of the Light powers. As this acolyte flings a sentinel shield at a titan, the titan uses a new ability to place down a wall. You can see them slamming down this shield, a little rework of what we currently have. Sabathun would then emerge as the guardian falls to its knees. We see three Sabathuns in total, so I'm guessing this is going to come into play in the boss fight with its own mechanic, maybe trying to find which Sabathun is real and then killing that one for good. I just hope it's worth it and not some of like the previous boss fights we've had in the game where you hear so much about this enemy and then you just kill them in two seconds. At the end of this clip we see either Savathun transporting herself through that eye portal or this is just a transition for the trailer's sake and showing us the environment. Here is a giant Savathun appearing in the skybox for some reason. In this shot, we see our three guardian heroes in a pyramid in the background with a shape in the middle. My first thought was, is that the Traveler? Is that some type of planet, the hive homeworld of Fundament? Let me know your thoughts down below. But it looks like this pyramid thing might be able to move and maybe it's following the guardians. That was just the first image I got when looking at it. As this guardian moves through the swampy overgrowth, we can see some of the new weapons on their back and more looks at some of the hive guardians coming to light in the Witch Queen. A long speculated opinion is now going to be coming true and the Scorn will be enemies in Savathun's throne world as well. This may make sense given some of the dialogue we've heard this season, which implies the Scorn are coordinating with Zivu and the Voice in the Darkness. With their leader, Fikrul, now dead, it seems they are controlled by this entity as well, much like Zivu Arath's forces are, and could be in here for the same reason. They want Savathun back, they're hunting her down, and that Voice in the Deep doesn't like that Savathun turned away from it. I had to show this clip right here because it reminds me of something out of Dark Souls with a giant swinging bell in the middle of this location. And that's something so cool about these sci-fi worlds. You can throw in random things like this and it just makes sense and fits. Here's some more Hive Guardians using their light powers alongside Savathun who flings a Nova Bomb. So 
So that's basically all we got for this trailer on Savathun's Throne World. I'm gonna let some images from the press kit roll out, they're basically the same as the trailer but more high res if you'd like to look at them, and then the video is going to end. So if you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this one, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also leave anything in the comments below that we perhaps missed from the trailer. Anyway, thanks for watching, my name's Evade, and I'll catch you guardians in the next one. <laughs>